Hi viewers, it's still your mathematics tutor, Emmanuel Johnny. Today's video will be looking at a different topic entirely, which is binomial theorem. This topic is very important to further mathematics students, students of engineering, mathematics and sciences. Now at the end of this topic, every student should be able to carry out binomial expansion. That is to say, you can expand higher powers without having to stress yourself so much. So all I want from you is to pay rapt attention. Be patient as I take you through this topic. So let's get started. Welcome back. Now, we want to begin with binomial expansion. Let's say I have something like this, x plus y raised to power 0. Please note that the answer is 1. Definitely, anytime you have something raised to power 0, a raised to power 0, the answer must be 1. 3 raised to power 0, the answer must be 1. So anything at all in this life raised to power 0 is always 1. That one is sure. Now, the same way, x plus y raised to power 0 is equals to 1, which means that if I have x plus y raised to power 1, the answer must be the same thing as x plus y. For instance, x plus y raised to power 1 means x plus y into one place. So if I have x plus y raised to power 2, this one means x plus y into two places, which means x plus y times x plus y, which means you have to carry out this expansion. Okay. So if I have x plus y raised to power 2, then I want to expand this. Every student normally will do this, x plus y raised to power 2 which means x plus y times x plus y then you begin your multiplication remember the first term here will multiply the two terms in the second bracket and the second term will multiply the two terms in the second bracket so let's go x times x is x squared plus x times y is xy plus y times x is xy. Please note that xy and yx are the same. For the mathematics, we follow alphabetical order. So xy is the best way, though yx is still correct. Okay, so x times x is x squared, x times y is xy, y times x is xy, plus y times y is y squared. Then we have x squared plus xy plus xy. Remember, this is xy plus xy. They are the same, which means that the coefficient of xy is 1 and the coefficient of xy is 1. So when you add 1 plus 1, you have 2 and then xy. So xy plus xy is 2xy plus y squared. So what that means is that if I expand this, Okay, let me show us a very simple way to expand without going through this long method. Just use this power 2 to square x. So you have x raised to power. In other words, carry this power 2, put on top x. Plus, use this power 2 to multiply the two terms inside the bracket. So you have 2 times x, 2x, 2x times y, 2xy. So you have plus 2xy. Then the last thing is use this 2 to put on top y, that will give you plus y squared, which is the same thing as this. So what does that mean? That if you expand x plus y raised to power 2, this is what you will get. Now, if I'm to expand x plus y raised to power 3, of course this is going to be the last expansion I'm going to carry out. This means this x plus y into three places. 
which is x plus y1 times x plus y2 times x plus y3. Now, to expand this, already we have already expanded x plus y. You know, x plus y squared means x plus y times x plus y. So, which means that this place now is just the same thing as this, which is the, this expansion. So, you know that if I expand this, this is what I'm going to get. That means I can write this as x plus y times, you know, if you expand x plus y times x plus y, this is what you will get. So, let's say we have already expanded this and this is the answer. So, carry this answer, put in the place of x plus y times x plus y. So, I'm going to have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Then, at the end of the day, this x plus y will multiply every term inside these brackets. So, you have x times x squared is x cubed. Remember, this x will multiply the three terms. After that, this y will multiply the three terms. So, x times x squared is x cubed plus x times 2xy.